when last we left our intrepid adventures. Sip of tea. Um, in the transcript it says sip of tea. Um, yeah, we're using a script. <laughs> All of this is scripted. He said transcript. Didn't he? Teleprompter. Teleprompter. He's got a teleprompter. <laughs> it's on my tits, which is why he always looks at them. I know, right? It's misspelled. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a problem. Yeah, good thing we edited it out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, when last we left our time of adventure. Interruption. Interruption, 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 so. Um, you guys had acclimated to the environment. You could stop eating the disgusting ashtray fruit. Oh, thank God. Super sweet ashtray fruit. Uh, Is that what it... still... Seafood gyms still recommended that you continue every once in a while. Uh, as, well, as much as you can say. Um, I still have one a day. Okay. I'll have one a week. Yes, alright. Seems oh. to be about how everyone works it. Oh, then I'll do one a week. <laughs> so you can have one a day. I'll do like a quarter a day. <laughs> I mix know. it in with something else. That's not a bad idea. They tend to rot really quickly though because they have a lot of sugar. Oh my god. I sugar. I start what brewing it. Yes! Yes! Oh, I, wanted, I was wondering how long it would take for I, one. I start brewing them into an ale. Oh, no. So we have an ash and ale. Yes. Heh. You, you have a beer that hops you the fuck up on adrenaline. Because now it's distilled. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to have my... But I also flavor it. Yeah. I'm going to have yeah, my You would basically one. have to make more gin. Yeah. Or not moonshine. I'm I start making moonshine with some of the uh, uh, village folk. Yeah. We'll get there. Um, oh, God, I was waiting for so long for someone to come up with that. Um, I already said we had alcohol. I tried to be like, we don't have alcohol in this so it's a freight point. We have alcohol. We have alcohol. <laughs> um, or whatever. Interestingly enough, while people have thought to make it from the fruit, the thought of then ash and beer has made them not want to do that. So, uh, you still get to contribute to their society. <laughs> um, however, the two months have passed, you guys are off your diet of terrible fruit, as much as you want to be, or don't want to be, um, and the... Oh crap, I need the list of names. Which is in my bag. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone too far. It's gone too far. Uh, well, no, it's actually cropping out the other camera. So... You can still do it. We believe in it's you. It's the only hard thing left in there. Oh. So if I take that out, the bag is just going to crumble in half. Well, then we need to replace it with something. What would you like to put in the bag? That is hard. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? We just need to have a marquee that says insert penis joke. Here. <laughs> right? Insert rock penis rock. pause joke. <laughs> well, I can edit it out. It's okay. That's part of the P in the editor. I can choose what does and what does not make it into the film. <laughs> and or the episode. Can it go into the spoof? No. That's just going to be gone. <laughs> this part of the conversation will be there. But the but part then everybody will be like, what the what fuck are they, they talking, talking about? about? Exactly. None of your business. <laughs> and that will be removed as well. Also, cut sound. <laughs> yeah, don't remove it. Just cut the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Replace it with like fuzz. There you go. There you go. How are you doing that with your mouth? <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's that's it. That's Scott Pilgrim sound. jokes always make everything better. So, yes. um, None of your business. I have a question. I have an answer. <laughs> so, we were told that our spaceship was going to be taken care of since it functions, yes. and we want to make sure that it stays that way and doesn't get hijacked, hijacked cannibalized, cannibalized, etc. Various things. Licked. How's that coming along? It's fine. You went out, um... You went out, uh, during the two months to go check on the spaceship, and it was 
Um, it basically looks like they erected a screen of canopy over it. Um, during the night. Well, that's good. They had 32 fucking hours then. 30, 30 hours. They had 30 hours. Well, depending on what time of night you guys landed, but presumably they probably only had like 15. Um, or they, I don't want to say during the night, but they've basically erected like a screen of canopy over it with, and made like this tent, wooden like tent structure. Um, so that it's screened off from overhead aerial views. Um, you're not sure how fast or slow they did it, but tactically the only giveaway would be the rapid growth of plant life, and even then, you're not sure that that's a giveaway, because it's jungle world. It's a really big jungle world. Yeah. So, uh, very likely, it, yeah, it's fun. It's, and no one's really, like, messed with it at all, other than to, crawling all over it, to get the shit in the way. All of your equipment is there. Most of them don't even know what the fuck shit does. And they know better than to touch shit, but they don't know what it does. They probably learned that lesson real quick. Yeah. Where is my list of names? It's on the list of names. Is it on you your computer? You were the last to have it. it the one I no. printed off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, because I let, I let Chris use it. Where did he put it? Did he take it? Yeah. No. Probably your function best in space. Yes. Is that it? By the lamp? No, that's not it. <sighs> so, anyways, um, name to come, because I've forgotten his name. I'm so organized. Yeah, you are. What right, was his character trait? The technician. Okay. Um, approaches you guys. Max? Um, no. I thought it was a J. Maybe it was Max. Does anyone have it written down? I do on my other sheets that Terry? I have here. Yes. There you go, Terry. Terry. The most inventive. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Terry approaches you guys. Hey, Terry! Uh, hello. Uh. What's up? So, are you guys ready? Oh, are we going to the repository? Yes. Wonderful, I am ready. Why is it gathered now that you're no longer, um, allergic? You're gonna go ahead and take care of that. I don't know what else, whatever. We found his name out of I don't usually keep notes. So this is weird. I also don't usually run the game. I don't need notes! Um. Well. Plus you. <coughs> How dare you! You've insulted the ancestors. I'm sorry, now we must put you to death. Just kidding. I'd like to see you try. Read it. Bay point. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but I had to think about it. Um. Yeah, now that you guys aren't allergic, we should probably get going. It's like a five day journey. Um, so standard day or planet day? Standard day. Oh, okay. Thank God. Yeah. It's because they time today. Holy shit. Sick. 60 fucking hours. So we should be there in a fortnight? Mm. 300 <laughs> hours? Right. Traveling? <sighs> yeah. Okay, five days. Five days uh, to get there. We're gonna take, it's gonna be me, you three, Sifu Jim, and... And my buddy Amos? Rodney? No. Not Amos. What? Rodney? No, Rodney has to stay here. Amos and Rodney have to stay here. Oh. Um, Jenna? Oh, Jenna? No. Mother? No. It's really just me and Super Jim, and then I think we're going to take three of the breaks. Oh, okay. Maybe four. We're calling them breaks? Yep. Okay. Yep. They're native. Call them what I want. What? Not enough to matter. Okay. You hit the thing. The purple thing. With paint, piece of paper? No, with your hand. Clipboard. Oh. 
Bunk. Um, yeah, we're calling him Brace. I'm sick and tired of him being called Warrior instead of whatever the shit. How cliche. Yeah. So if you guys want to gather your stuff up, um, make sure to bring a bedroll. Any clothes we've given you. I'm gonna need some changes. Will do. Uh, hack an air canister? Just in case we have to go up or down. Um, sorry. Pack an air canister in case we have to go up. Make sure you bring pressure suits in case we have to go down. Okay. The pressure suit that you were thinking of as of today, like today's modern day pressure suits, is highly outdated. Yeah. Uh, by this point in history, you guys have, like, basically Lycra reinforced skin tight crap that acts as a pressure suit. Ooh, skin tight! It has to be. Yeah. That's what it should be. And then you can wear stuff over it as well because it's getting tight. So. Yeah. I go and pack. Boop, 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 boop. Sounds like fun. Um, <gasps> when you guys have packed up all of your stuff, you've checked on the spaceship for the last time, come on back. Uh, everyone has gathered. Sifu Jim is standing there. Sons. Butterfly. Mosquitoes. Excuse me, didn't you call them mosquitoes? I did, but they, they still look like butterflies in my head. Then don't call them mosquitoes. No, they, they are functionally mosquitoes. In terms of the ego, and I said that, in terms of the ecosystem, they are mosquitoes. So are they mo- basically mosquitoes that look like butterflies? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They have giant iridescent wings. Giant being like this big, but... Compared to their body size, it's huge! They're about the size of a normal nipple. Um... So... Uh, Sifu Jim is there. Perry is there. Four of the birds are there. Four. He ended up with four. Um, and then three. Um... And then Amos shows up. And Amos pulls the Fujim aside. And they start having words. I try to listen discreetly. I try to listen less discreetly. <laughs> yes. uh, like, I don't wander over, but I turn and stare. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the conversation basically is going along the lines of Amos. Uh, Amos is complaining that he's heard word from other tribes, um, that since the rain season is coming, uh, they need, he needs to keep all the, Amos specifically needs to keep all the warriors here, so he can make sure they're ready to defend the village, blah 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 blah. Uh, Sifu Jim kind of takes this with a grain of salt and he tries to negotiate a little bit, um, but for the most part Amos is firm, and... Finally, Super Jim, and not really in the name of peace, but also like understanding Amos's point, uh, says, "All right, well, keep these two with you. Then we'll just take two. I and Doctor Cytron will be there." What's your name, right? Yeah, you got it right this time. Um and. Naomi, of course. And he kind of adds you on as an afterthought and doesn't really look at Amos when he says it. <laughs> Amos may, may or may not still be bitter. <laughs> but I got the brother in arms thing. We're bros now. Still doesn't mean he likes you. Well... I'm unerringly chipper every time we talk to each other. Yes, you are. <laughs> that is the solution. <laughs> that is how you fix something like that. Um, <laughs> that doesn't make it more like it all. Stop pushing on the table. Sorry. So. Yeah. There you go. Short-legged woman. 
She's just short. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he takes two of the guards and wanders off. And Terry looks at Tifu Jin and he's like, and this is in full view of everyone present. Mm-hmm. Are you sure that was a good idea? Tifu Jin. I don't know if he needs the Braves here to protect the village. And while certainly it is important that the three of you get to the repository and... Wow, my voice changed. Um... Well, you're no longer doing the, the old man voice. I know. I realize that midway through the sentence. I'm like, oh, whoops. Um... Yes, yes. We'll, we'll be... We'll be fine. Yeah. You are an intelligent pupil, and you are the able combatant. The two of you will make up for the loss of purpose. Also, we won't necessarily be a target of raiders because they don't know that we're going anywhere and what we'll be. Whereas a village is pretty stationary. So if I were planning an attack, I'd attack the people where I know where they are, instead oh. of random openness. We do not bring braves for raiding our party. I think I misunderstood. We, we don't travel out of the village with braves because we are afraid of raiding parties. Oh, okay. I seriously misunderstood the words you said. Okay. Yeah. So you're afraid of raiding parties hitting you in travel or hitting the... No, they're not afraid of raiding parties. That's oh. not what we're, we would need braves. Presumably the planet would not screw with us. Possibly the um, leopard size... Sand sharks it would be a problem. <laughs> yes, those might be a problem. <laughs> Amongst other things? Yes. Never fear, my like, goddess shall protect us from like anything. Like the burrowing like bears with the armadillo skin. Were those also a thing? Yes. Or did you just make that up right now? No, that was a thing. That was a thing. A harsh environment develops harsh people and makes us better warriors. Or yes. poop. With which to fight the necro guys. <laughs> or poop. <laughs> hey, at least if you die to an animal, you become poop. That's what I just said. If you die to a necro guys, you just become a necro guys. Means not wrong. I would rather be poop. Exactly. You guys start walking off as this conversation is happening. Um, to initiate the travel. Uh, <laughs> in all fairness, though, we did not settle Robocodon because of the harsh environment. This is just a coincidence. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, and Terry can validate, uh, Robocodon, I believe, was settled because of the rich iridium everywhere. Then why is technology taking such a plummet? Well, we weren't given refining tools. Or the ones we were, were taken away. <sighs> Cannibalized to make records. Hmm. How short sighted. Or maybe immediately necessary. Hopefully. Well, the, the repository is a very flexible building, from what Terry tells me. Terry kind of grunts. It's like, it's... There's a lot there that we just don't want. Work. From Perhaps what Terry tells it. you? Haven't you ever been? That was what te- no Terry says. Oh, from mm-hmm. there's a lot there that we just don't work. No, no, no. Oh, Seafood Jim says the building yeah. is right. very flexible. From what Terry tells me, the building is very flexible. Yeah, you've not been. Uh, Terry is the only one who built inside. Well, past the antechamber, which has access to all of the library, which is why I know everything. But we don't know, don't you recall? No. Are you lying? 
Nope. Maybe. Uh, our intrepid adventurers have taken up the road to that one place. The repository. Repository. Oh yeah, you guys were tripping out about Seafood Jim having never been in the repository and Terry being the only person who's yes. actually been in the repository. Yeah. I wouldn't say tripping out, but I would I would I'm like to concern. I would like to go ahead and, and uh, confirm that he's hiding something with my rapport. Um my rapport Rapport is talking, empathy is passive reading. Yes, she is correct, but you can't accomplish the goal with either stuff. Um, because you can talk him into revealing himself. Yes. If he's lying. Yes. Um, sure. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a random encounter on the way over to, you know, place. No, okay. I'm not going to do it, just because you said that. Go Alds, roll for it. Roll initiative. You know, see my candle. Uh, Look at no candle. That was creepy, good. What? Maybe. Maybe. There's a deceive skill. Okay. Um. Yeah, there is. So yeah, go ahead and roll me a rapport. Oh. Your passive opposition is his skill rating. Uh, we are also armed, right? I, I do have to stop giving you fate points for this question at some point, by the way. Um, no, Jared. Oh, you mean like from the village? From the village, yes. Oh! Because they sent the braves away, so we're now in charge of guarding ourselves, thus they gave us weapons, right? Well, yeah, he has a weapon pistol. already. I am I am a weapon. Yeah. yeah. See, Fujim's a weapon. See, Fujim is a weapon. They give you a laser pistol. And you can... Um, because that's all that they have. Beat people in submission with your fists. I do have unarmed and then also athletics. But, um. And shoot, apparently? I have shoot. Okay. I like to shoot. I will shoot. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because you're on a planet, so you get a laser pistol. <laughs> what? You mean lasers don't self terminate? No. Huh? <laughs> Do you want to re-roll? You! You know the candle! Yes! Yes, I do! No. I do want to re-roll! No, you didn't oh, it's take only a minus candle two. at all. Huh? It's only a minus two. What is... Yeah, I'm still going re-roll because that's three. What aspect are you invoking? I am... If they talk enough. If you talk... <laughs> if I talk enough, they'll get it. Yes. Alright. Yes. All right. Hang on. I gotta put this down here first here. So, the way this plays out at first is that basically, you start, I just had an idea about something completely unrelated. Um, yeah, you kind of start, uh, it, like, there's that, com there's that comment about, like, well, I've been in the antechamber where the library is, but Terry's the only one who's seen the inside. You all look at each other, and there's like a sp space of silence. Barry kind of leading the group, and just kind of like walking along, not really paying attention. So you approach, and 